What's up, YouTube? It's the Bad Seven Four Three One coming back with another help video for iTunes. This help video is a help video for people that get the era sixteen hundred or sixteen o four. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering what these error messages mean. At the bottom of your screen, when you get these error messages, you see where down at the bottom where it says Acer, Acer Updater? Well, when you get those iTunes errors, down at the bottom it's going to say USB, you're having a problem, something like you're having a problem with your USB drive and your USB is not fast enough. So basically what it is is it's telling you that your um it's basically telling you that your USB is not fast enough to um install the firmware into your iPod or your iPhone. So basically what I did is I have three ports on this computer. So I'm thinking, well, let me just try a different port. So I did that. Same error. Tried on my third port. Same error. So what I did, I was thinking that, well, maybe it's my, you know, maybe it's my, um, my USB cord to my iPod. So what I did is I went out and I bought a brand new USB cable cost me 19 bucks and in the meantime I actually had laying around the house a um, let's see if you can get that in there anyway you probably can't oh there we go I had a GFM 4 port USB hub so I connected my iPod up to that and I plugged it all back into the computer, it still gave me error 1600. So after I got that error again, I went on ahead and opened up the new USB cord that I bought from Apple, connected it to the computer, gave me the same error 1600. This point, at this point, I'm kind of mad, you know what I'm saying? I'm real mad. I went and spent $19 on this cord, and the cord is not the problem. So I'm getting ready to tell you guys what the problem is. Now, most of you guys aren't going to believe it, but you have to try it to believe it, okay? What I did after I got pissed off and frustrated, okay, what I ended up doing was I could, well, first of all, what you have to do, what I ended up doing was I still had my iPod in DFU mode, okay? So what I ended up doing was unplugging my iPod from the computer, okay? And I had, you know, put my, you know, iPod to the side and I shut the computer off. So... Something was telling me to turn the computer back on. So I turned the computer back on. Let everything load it up. And these Acer computers have like, well, the netbooks have like a lot of junk on them. They'll have like um, McAfee stuff on there where they want you to download their firmware and Norton and just all kind of junk. So basically what I did was I you know, let all that junk load up all on there, and I exited out of everything, and then I plugged my iPod back up to the computer, and iTunes came back up. Now, by it already being in DFU mode, it know that my it knew that my iPod was in recovery mode. Basically, what I ended up doing was you know, clicking on shift and I right clicked and it opened up my 
you know, my desktop. I scrolled down and I got my 4.3.5 firmware and I clicked you know go ahead to restore and it started to restore on my iPod I mean the Apple came up the loading screen came up on my iPod everything was good guys so basically this is guaranteed to work what happens is I guess those ports on your computer, once you turn it on and you try to restore it the first time, it works. Like, let's say, for instance, I left my computer on all night and I've been trying to do this and I never shut it off. And I come home and I'm still trying to restore it, it's not doing nothing. What it is, is the speed of the USB. Basically, it already been timed out, basically. You know, you didn't did it so many times. You know, all the speed basically just then went out of the USB drive. So, by you shutting your computer off and turning it back on again, it's speeding up those USB drives again. Now, I know this might sound stupid, but you have to try it to see what I'm talking about. I swear to you, if you guys, like like I said, this only works if you have, you know, Era 1600 or Era 1604. If you got these errors, again, if you're already in DFU mode, go ahead and unplug your iPod. Go ahead and restart your computer. If you got like programs that automatically start when you turn your computer on, go ahead and wait till all that stuff loads up and X out of all of it. Connect your iPod back to your computer. Once it recognizes your iPod, then go ahead and hit shift and right click. Download whatever firmware you try to download, 4.3.5 or beta or whatever you try to download. Go ahead and install it, and everything should be good to go, guys. I guarantee you this will work. If this doesn't work, now you have to have Era 1600. Or 1604. If you got these errors, it will work. If it don't work, I will guarantee you give you, I would guarantee give you $10 in your PayPal account. I would guarantee give you that. But, you have to make a video showing me that you get, that you have error 1600 or error 1604. If you got a different error on there, I'm not going to send you $10. Because obviously you didn't listen or check out my video correctly. Only way I'm going to give you that is if you got the same exact error and you did exactly what I did. So basically, make a video. Send me a, re send me a response video on you doing what I'm telling you to do with your computer. I want to see the 1604 or the 1600 error and I want you to do the same exact thing I'm telling you to do and I want you to send me that video so I want to see this for myself and if you get that same error and you do exactly what I tell you and it doesn't go through like it's supposed to I will send you ten dollars in your PayPal account I guarantee that and I'm going to actually leave that open so you guys can send your response videos to me so I can check this out. But this worked for me, guys. This actually worked for me. Try it out. Don't be dropping me messages saying, oh, man, it didn't work, man, blah, 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 blah. I got error 1699. Okay, I told you it's not going to work for any other error besides... 1600 or 1604 so check that you know go ahead and try that out guys and um, let me know what works with a video response you know go ahead and do what I tell you to do and you know go ahead and make that video and I want to see for myself if it works or not 
If it don't work, I'll send you $10 to your PayPal account. Okay, hope this helps, guys. This is the man 7431. Coming back to you guys with another helpful iTunes era video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.